Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Season 10, Episode 6 of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Last we saw, Larry had a whole thing going on with a sex doll that was given to him by Funkhauser's brother. And he then at the end gave it to their uncle, I think they said, who was addicted to porn magazines. And he told him about the internet and he was running up bills on the internet and now he gets a doll. There is also a lot going on with the maid. Susie and Jeff had a maid and they let Larry use the maid, but then she basically said Susie's annoying, but then Larry looked like he was having sex with a sex doll. And everyone basically thinks that now the mailman got the package and thought Larry ordered it, even though he didn't. He went and told Ted Danson. Ted Danson went and told Cheryl. Cheryl saw him humping it because he was trying to let the air out. And Leon, I believe, was banging that doll. They were making subtle jokes the whole time, but... They basically were saying he was fucking the doll. Larry David's mom had a shawl and he was like, I don't want to sell this or whatever, but I'd like to give it to someone that could use it. Isla Fisher, professional crier. They go and see Clive Owen has a one man Broadway play and Isla Fisher and him hit it off. But it comes out at the end that she was a professional crier and the thing blows in the street and the way her mother died was she was hit by a train and it looks like she is hit and killed by a car. So all of this over a sex doll and a shawl and it's curb your enthusiasm. So we expect it. We're just going to jump in. If you guys want to know more, you can watch the end of the last one. If you guys want to get full reactions at the end of the videos are links to Patreon. Otherwise, let's jump in. This is season 10, episode six, curb your enthusiasm. You can't park there. You don't have a, a sticker. A handicap. Yeah. This is a handicap spot. People come in to use my son's store here. My son Joseph owns the store. Mocha Joe's so you really mom. can't park there. So you're Mocha Joe's mom? Yeah, yeah. My name's Jane. Mocha Jane? Yeah, that's me. Mocha Jane. But you can't park here. But I just have to go into my store and drop this off. Your latte, Larry. Oh, I should have known. Joseph told me about you. We're going to take you down, latte, Larry. We shall see, Mocha Jane. I got some great things happening here. It looks like it. The bones are great. We got tables here, okay? And what are they gonna have next to them? A little coat rack. For coats? Yeah. Cool. And Purell, every table. First, you got the snowshoes down there. You step on those. See how it lifts up? Okay, now watch this. You set it to your level of oh where your penis is. Uh-huh. I feel like I'm with Howard Hughes right before the nails go big. <laughs> no, I do. This is insane. It's cool, though. How about the ladies? What do they got? Let me show you. Okay. Oh, my God. What did he do? Look. Look at this. Look at this. See, this is smart. The ladies do get to sit down. This makes See? You grab onto these bars. And then these go on here. <laughs> they don't touch anything. They're not touching. And the pants go where? You know, I don't know. Whatever, whatever <laughs> they do with them. Come and join me. Settle up. Did you consult women on this? No. They'll love this, though. Oh, yeah. I yeah. like the feeling here. Yeah, OK. The girls are going to love it. My legs that are That is pretty off. hilarious. Oh, my god. A cup, mm -hmm. OK, that keeps coffee hot. Mm -hmm. Like a thermos. No, not a thermos. No. The cup itself. Heats. Heats. Uh -huh. It's hot. You got plans? Well, there's they no plans. I don't, I don't uh, you know, how am I going to do it? I need an inventor. I know a guy. I'm having a surprise party for Jeff for his birthday. Uh. So I'm gonna have it on the 20th, which is three days before his birthday. He'll never know, mm. but I need you to help with the ruse. First of all, it's a terrible idea. Why? Number one, people hate surprise parties. No, 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 no. you, maybe. No, everybody, everybody I know loves everybody. a surprise party. Oh, that's fun? Yes. That's fun. Ah! You know what, I'm gonna go talk to Dr. Holzer about this. We'll see what he says. Whatever you want, you do whatever you want. Okay, do you have an appointment? No, no, I don't. Are you a patient of Dr. Holzer? Yes, I am. Okay. Can you sign your name up on the Sure. Oh, my God, that's Please, Rebecca Romaine Stamos. This? I just realized. Andrew Rusty Holzer? You bring food on a plane? Sir, if you'll have a seat, the doctor will be <laughs> sure. with you. Sure. All right, we'll do. Thank you. I never know hey, if he's actually crazy? hitting on them or just... Would well, you get some new artwork in here? Uh, yeah, we made a few changes. What do you think of that painting? <clears throat> oh, I, I know that is. That's a, oh, you're coming on to me. I'm not coming on to you. I'm not hitting on you. Everything's not a hit. People can make conversations without it being he a hit. He talks so much, I never know. It's not a hit. Okay, have a seat. 
Andrew Rusty Holzer? I'm trying it out, Rusty. It's a nickname. Who gives themselves a nickname? I'm just trying it. It's new. Most people hey, are given name. nicknames for some personality quirk or trait. I feel like a Rusty. Okay. He just gave Good himself enough. his own um, nickname. The reason I'm here is that at, uh, at like Susie Green, Jeff Green's wife, is throwing a surprise party for him on the 20th. Surprise! You know, everybody jumps out. Oh, it's scary. Right, right. You know? Yeah, I can see that. Given the condition of his heart, I just want to see if, you, if you're giving that the okay. Scopa? Yeah. Oh, that's hard to get into. That's a trendy spot. He's going to have know, to invite the doc. He knows a lot of celebrities. And oh. Chris Martin's going to he's going to sing. <laughs> Chris Martin? Yeah. Wow. You like Coldplay? Coldplay. Oh, I, I love, I yeah. mean, that's, that's big. They're great. Yeah. That's a lot of pressure. And suppose you were invited to this. Would you have a different opinion? Oh, I hadn't, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, sure. I mean, if I, if I came yes, to the party yes, 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 Saturday, yeah. the 20th. Scopa. I mean, that, that changes yeah. things. I'll talk to Susie. Susie's gonna Snare probably say no, because oh, she's just good aggressive. Enough. Thank you so much. Hey, my pleasure. You let me know. You keep me posted. I certainly will, and okay. uh, I'll be talking to Susie. Okay. Okay? Th thank you, Larry. Uh, Is your bathroom? Of course. Thank you. Uh, all right. Can I use your bathroom? Oh my god, it's Fred Armisen. He's gonna squeeze by him. There was enough distance. It wasn't like he cut him off. Hi. Hey. Why did you pass me? I calculated your speed, my speed, the distance, my average urination time, and according to my calculations, I would have had to wait three to four minutes, whereas you only had to wait 12 to 15 seconds. I think it was the right move. I agree with Larry really? on this case. Yeah. It's inconsiderate. I heard footsteps and then whoosh, okay. right past me. You should have moved over to the right to let me pass. You should have given me one of these. I no, agree in this wait. case. You're blocking if traffic. If he's quick You're enough where he's car. trying to be fast. fast. Cars through. I'm no, in a rush all the time, the guys. Car in the front. I think you have bad walker etiquette. You're a hallway hog. I'll tell you what. Can I make it up to you? Let me buy you a cup of coffee. Look, I've got nothing against the handicap. I've, I've dated two women in, in wheelchairs. Whoa, so, two? Yeah, my disabled bona fides are well established. <laughs> are you still dating one of them? No, no. She caught me cheating with the other, with the other disabled woman. Oof. <laughs> yeah, Holzer? Yeah. He is so transparent. He's trying to finagle an invitation to the party. You know what? He's not getting one. I knew Susie would say that. We had two dinners no. with him and his wife. Aggressively boring. Fucking brutal. Susie, why does it have to be a surprise? Because I want it to be. You're trying to kill him. Trying to kill who? Jeff. You want to give him a heart attack and you want him to die at that party. Oh, That's your plan, isn't oh my it? God. Huh? Isn't it? Here's the evidence. It's an invitation. You ruin the surprise party, I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this guy. Nice You have tail. your coffee cup. Of course. Now here's where the magic Alan is. Oh, that is your heating element there. This is all going to be one thing, of course. Of course, because you hate cold coffee. I do. I mean, I'm so sick of taking five, six, seven sips, and it's cold. It's as if coffee is dictating to us when it must be consumed. I'm not okay with that. I love that. This guy seems genuinely Heated insane. cups. Oh, look who's up. This is my assistant, Adolf. Adolf. You named your dog Adolf? Oh, I named him after my grandfather, my opa. He kind of looks like him. Mm. He's got a handsome face, but you can tell he's stern. See, he might think he's one of these, like, Hitler nuts. This guy's got a sweet place. Got a nice hey, motorcycle hey. back there. Hey! Hey! Uh, hey, Hitler! Oh my god. Hey! What? Good boy! What the hell's with your dog? <laughs> he was growling at me before like he was going to attack me. I was scared to death. Then I went, Heil Hitler. Why would you do this? <laughs> Why would it work? Did you put what? your arm out? Like that when you said it? Yeah, yeah, like that. I know what that is. <laughs> when I trained him, I would put a treat out with my arm up like that. Heal! <laughs> <laughs> he named his dog after his grandfather. Hey, if my grandfather was named Pol Pot, I wouldn't name my dog Pol Pot. Okay, I think he's probably <laughs> more of an eccentric than anything. <laughs> eccentric? Pol Pot like is a little different guy. than Adolf. He's Adolf's part of like a common. tornado chasing troop called Stormfront. He had a great shirt. No black man would ever chase a fucking tornado. Yeah, 
Why? Yeah. She's dumb as fuck. Yeah, yeah that, that's so true. Right, but whatever makes him weird like that also makes him great at inventing. I swear to you, this is just as hot as it was 10 minutes ago. That's tremendous. Wow. Just as hot. I mean, this is amazing. It works. Mm. You got Boris to thank for it. Pussy tea. Mm -hmm. Huh? All the taste of pussy without the commitment. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. I put that shit in a tea bag. Well, I'll put you in contact and see if anything flies from it. Please do. Now, I can't make it to is just like the vagina candle. Going? I got big issues with this surprise party. Jeff has a heart condition. Oh. Susie knows that. You're saying the point of the surprise party is to kill him? Yeah. Well, you're, it is crazy. You don't think like a killer. You don't have a devious mind. I do. I think like a killer because there are so many people I want to kill. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, she has bad intentions. I was watching Columbo one night at 3 in the morning. This motherfucker had me convinced I did this shit. <laughs> <sighs> My dad loves right, Columbo. in a tough spot. Yeah. Let's think it through. If you tell him... She'll kill me. If you don't tell him... He'll die. have a heart attack and die. So what are you going to do? Oh, well, I'm not going to tell him. <laughs> you, you'll have to live with that. Yeah. Hello. Uh, do you have an appointment? I don't have an appointment. Do you need to see the doctor? Uh-uh. Can I ask what you're doing? You asking I'm her just out? Between appointments, I needed somewhere to wait, and this is a waiting room. You're just using this waiting room? You go in a restaurant, you see nobody in there, you don't think it's any good. When you see people there, you think it's good. Same thing with the doctor's office. Oh, it's, it's the hitting thing? You think I'm hitting? You've shown up to my place of work unannounced, and now you're just sitting there staring at me. It's not a hit. You know, it's starting to feel more like stalking. Hey guys, if you want to see the next part, click up here. You want to see something else I do, like a trailer reaction or another show, click down here. You want to subscribe to the channel, click over here somewhere. Comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.